Hi and welcome to Python tutorial of how to send a data to a printer. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. If I click on print, there, it goes straight to my default application and that's the notepad. Click on OK because the server is not attached so I don't have a printer on board but it does work. There, I can also reset and enter my new set of data that I intend to print or I can exit out of the system I don't want to do that so let's click on print again there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys okay guys let's start a new project I'll start by importing the following so the first is going to be my temporary file so that's temp file I will also import operating system then I will import Hikinta and Hikinta messenger so the next thing is let's say root equals tk because this is going to be the form of a graphical user interface dot let me get my German tree and I'm going to set that as 810 by let's go for 630 plus maybe 10 plus no let's say plus 0 0 plus 0 let's close that up here now the next thing is I'm going to give it a title and after that I'll set the background color alright title and background color sorted then the next thing is I'm going to now create a menu frame and that is going to be in widget frame and this very widget frame is going to be inside my root and let's say the back color for that is going to be candidate blue as well so you we can just copy that and just a BG equals candidate blue there and the other thing I'm going to do now is let's close that up first and let's just enter as follows I'm going to raise it let's just raise it and here copy this and just ask it to the system to get it packed dot pack there now let's define two other two more frames to be inside this main frame so I'm going to copy this so that I can speed it up so copy one two three three more actually so this is going to be known as button frame so let's change this one to button um, let's say button F btn underscore F that's for my button and the same thing here right however I'm going to say the side that I want you to let's say the pack side is going to be the bottom yeah so that is taken care of now the other thing is let me change the names of this one okay I'm just going to change that okay here are my frame this is going to be for my title and this is going to be for the the text widgets why this will be for buttons so the next thing is I'm going to now create all of the following widget that I need right here guys are the widgets that is required so right the very first one here would be for the title this would be for my text where we enter my data and this is for the first button second one and the third button so let's come right down here and say root let me take, take it down so that you guys can see it root dot main loop right so let's save this file save us and i'm just going to call it printer pi printer i'm going to call that pi underscore printer right save that okay if I run it this is what you guys will see 
then we then put together some function for the printing there this is how it's looking now I have an error here geometry look at the spelling there's an E missing there so let's come back here and get that sorted enter E there okay run it again and there we go so I have my title there and I have my widget here all of these there's nothing happening so close that now let's create a function here I have all of the widgets so let's just write widgets here okay and which include buttons and so on button label and text widgets all right so maybe we we'll just put them in the label label widget and text widget that is it guys so the next thing I want to do now since we know all of the component that we have underneath here up here I'm going to now create functions just enter in here functions okay so the first function that I'm going to take care of let me call that exit I exit and I exit is going to be equals to that is my exit function now the exit function let me call it inside button exit here okay let's just say comma command equals I exit right that's taking care of the next one is let's come on underneath here and I'm gonna enter another function here this one is going to be for I print enter a column there that's the name of my next function that will be used for the printer itself so in the case of I print let's say Q equals my receipts right here place that in there so whatever I enter inside the receipt goes in here okay inside the text widget called txt receipt and it's going to be dot get okay open a bracket and say enter a quote and inside this quote I'm going to say 1.0 then here comma quote quote and inside that quote is going to be end dash 1c okay which means whatever I have in here is stored right inside Q let's close that right the next thing we want to do now is we now want to call a file name let's say file name equals temporary file dot okay this very temporary file be careful because we have one here that say mkd temp but the one i want is mk temp right now let's say the file format is going to be dot text and close that right once that is done the next thing we want to do now is to be able to open it let's say open and what do we want the system to open is to open the content we have inside this file name paste that there and after that we we'll say comma I would like it to write as follows okay and close that dot write and what are we writing whatever content I have inside the variable Q then we'll then say operating system dot we want you to start start file there then the file is 
enter the name of the file comma print and that's all there is to that so that's my print function that we officially print the data out on on a hard copy now command equals print okay the last function i want to add would be for reset then we try out this system let's say method reset so i'm going to call my my receipt there txt reset is that in there that's going to be dot delete okay open up a bracket 1.0 comma end and that's all there is to that that's taken care of yeah so all i just need to do now is to call this reset inside this button here button yeah right here comma command equals reset that's all there is to it so have a good look at the widget for the label text and buttons and the most important are the function function print function exit function reset now the these are the ones here these are just the frames okay let me just copy that and paste it up here and enter frames there there those are the frames and finally the following must be imported and this this is just my app definition okay and here the geometry and the size of the app title and back color okay and all i just need to do now is to run it but i think there's an error here let's take care of this that should be i all right so let's run it now you guys see that okay that's for exit taken care of so let's run that save and run and there we go enter the following data okay we can reset that's good print there we go it's working as expected yeah it's just telling me there's no printer available on my server so oh there's no server available for it to be able to print there let's print it again and you will see the printing message there we go if you just see it flash past okay so let's reset and enter another data entirely so we enter a new set of data there we go guys there and let's try print one more time click on print there you see the printing dialog and that's it because there's no i don't have the printing server in place and that is why we get this message so that's how you create your own print function in python i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now bye for now